What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B, and you're watching Dave B on TV, where we go beyond that everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. And today, I have an um, important video. This is like just random on spot, you know, in the vibe right now, you know what I'm saying? Because zero degrees Pisces right now, you know, the sun just slid in, so... I'm a sun sign Pisces by default. I'm already tapped in, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, not on no egotistical shit, just talking about some real shit. It's like I'm starting to, it's like the energy in the sky, even though we still on the cusp. So it's still a lot of uh, Aquarian energy. The energy in the sky is um, representing a lot of energies that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so this is just a time period where I feel extremely tapped in. And like one of the things that I was getting hit with, right, right was a, a couple concepts. So I'm just like, start throwing things out and y'all just kind of flow with me, right? So the first thing is like, you know, um, you know, we all know uh, Bruce Lee, right? He had that saying like, be like water or something like that, right? And, you know, when we start talking about martial arts and things of that nature, like basically this is the concept of, I, I think it's another, um, I'm not, I'm not, look, I'm, I'm not familiar with the martial arts styles and things of that nature. So I'm just going to be kind of speaking in layman's terms and things of that nature. So what I mean by that, that there's a certain, uh, there's a few martial art techniques in which the whole point is to, uh, you know, take on that water element. Because, like, you know, when we start talking about martial arts, a lot of them are correlated, like, styles are correlated to certain elements. And that element kind of describes the, the, the play style of that, that, that martial art. So certain martial arts are more correlated to fire energy, so they're more aggressive, more forthright, more in your face, more attack first uh, you know, recuperate later. Some are more earth, uh, heavy defense, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the, your build and just your inner, whatever energy you tend to, uh, cling more towards, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, then there's, you know, start with like more air styles that are more like quick and about, uh, agility and things of that nature. And then there's water with, which water is about flow and it's about utilizing the opponent's weight or the opponent's, um, direction and force against them and basically it's a it's a matter of you know say someone throws a punch you know it's about positioning yourself in the right way in which you can take the now it's like you know what force in the direction in which they're going so now instead of playing the earth element right defending yourself and just being like, ah, i'm gonna take a bunch of hits and then when they're tired i'm gonna go in or instead of being air where you're like oh no miss me miss me you know what i'm saying don't touch float like a butterfly start type shit where it's like nope don't touch you know what i'm saying too quick for you too quick for you it's not uh fire where it's like oh i see you because when 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 a, a fire the fire element right when you see somebody attack you already you're quick enough and it's an aggressive style so you you know where to punch like you know oh if they're throwing a the punch they're open here 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 so i'm gonna go ahead and, and and actually use aggression so i might get hit a little bit on the chin but i knew they opened themselves up so i'm already going with the haymaker inside of the wherever they open that right it's more like water water is like allowing them to throw that punch in that direction but then using that direction against them so now you done turn their punch into you flipping them over your shoulder you know what i'm saying but it's in a fluid motion so right now with the sun in pisces this, this that's the kind of energy i'm feeling right now it's a sense of um things being thrown at us and now like we spent so like i said you know with the new moon uh phase reading and things of that nature we were building a new mentality hold on i just got a text Okay, yeah, we're building a new mentality. So this mentality has to be sufficient. By the time we get to the full moon, this mentality that we're building has to be sufficient enough to hold your water, a.k.a. hold all your emotions and feelings together to where you're not so outweighed because Pisces season, this is the season to get lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? This is that season where things are about the dream. We all, we all about to be in La La Land. We all about to be heavily invested in our imagination. And that, that could be highly creative, but it also could be an, an illusion and lead to our self undoing, which I got the video about the self undoing, the 12th house where, you know, in this, in this area of life, uh, a lot of the subconscious things and patterns that we fall victim to, um, and I don't want to call any of us victims because we ain't victims on this side. It's just the the the, the subconscious patterns that we um, get enticed by and want to indulge in. These things can become our very worst enemy, but play out in an energy in which we don't even notice that's what's happening because it's all happening in a subconscious level. And, um, you know, I made a post on Instagram 
just speaking on a lot of this energy, but we're going to get into that. I want to finish up that analogy so I'm not too scattered. So, you know, basically that's the whole art art style. That's what's happening right now. We getting thrown with a fuck ton of shit. And it's like, how well can you, it's like we, we had that fixated mentality. Now we're going to have to learn how to get more flexible. And it's a matter of understanding and allowing space to not understand. It's a matter of seeing things happen and not feeling like you need to control it, but at the same time having a certain a certain trust in the self control of you in the control of yourself, and to where, with, since you trust yourself, in a way you trust your intuition, so you know on a certain level you have confidence in yourself. You can confide in yourself and believe that no matter what you'll be prepared with the right tools, whether that be a mentality or a certain feeling, to curve in the right way in which the impact is actually to your benefit in the long run. It may at first look like an inconvenience because now you have to morph how your water is flowing. You have to kind of like, you know what I'm saying, kind of take it in stride. But at the end of the day, you know that you trust yourself and your abilities and your strength to be like, okay, whatever I get hit with though, I can take it and remix it and I'll be fine. And so that that's kind of like that inner confidence and the ability to let things flow. Like you, that it, it's really hard. Like when people say going with the flow, it's actually very difficult, especially down here. Um, it's difficult, but it's not difficult once you understand the principles and the virtues of it. But it's difficult because we live in a world that's so reliant on things being sure for tomorrow. So what happens is, right, even if you're spiritually inclined, you'll have a lot of people in your immediate life. Like a lot of times these energies, right? You might hear a uh, energy forecast or something like that and be like, oh, well, I haven't experienced that specifically. But there might be if it's not you going through it, it'll be somebody else around you going through something that forces that energy upon you to, to, to deal with it in certain ways. And it, it happens to all different facets of life. You know what I'm saying? But when we start talking about real shit, these energies, like the more true that they are, the more um able they are to fit many different scenarios you know what i'm saying so we we leave the we leave the floor open for many different ways and many different possibilities you know what i'm saying when you start working with real god it's like that's all possibilities but when you actually understand the virtues and principles of what it means to actually be in the space of all possibilities you also open yourself up to having all solutions so it doesn't matter what get, what you get hit with you always have a, a your spirit has a way of finding the right solution for you you know what I'm saying? But you just have to have that inner confidence. And that's where that conviction comes in, that conviction in whatever um, you believe you deserve, because that conviction is what becomes your anchor. You know what I'm saying? And we start we uh, anchor is going to be really important during this time because you're going to need something to kind of keep your foot in reality. But now, luckily, we have a, oh, I say luckily, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's actually quite a, of a difficult angle because it's a fatal attraction. And I'm speaking on the stellium going on in air. You know, in fixed air in Aquarius, we got all these planets still in Aquarius. Um, the only thing that can really help us right now uh, is going to be that Taurus and that Uranus energy in Taurus. Uh, I said Taurus, Mars and Uranus energy in Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Because those uh, Taurus is the only practical sign. See, while Aquarius is fixated, right, and it's it's logical, it's not practical. So. Being in logic is like you can know how things work in the thought process behind something and you can make sense out of certain things But that sense might not actually be physical enough for you to manifest something with it For instance, you can know how something work, but that don't mean you actually have the um Practicality of how to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like this is why like, you know a manager at a job like he carries out the or he or she carries out the duties of the person who built it, right, the CEO, but they don't necessarily, they might not necessarily know how to build a company for themselves. They might just be good at managing, aka having a fixed thought about something that they were given, right, and not have to worry about practicalizing it, but knowing how to delegate it, knowing who to put in the right position and who to talk to to get what they need done, aka, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I, I don't want to get further with that. I think that's pretty clear, you know, hopefully it is, um, but, you know, that... It, it, when you're dealing with logic, you're not. It's it, practicality is actually when things become a permanent or a, a physical brick, and that brick is like a metaphor for you know building to build a build a uh, to build anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like when it's still logic, it's just the ideas. It's just the ideas. It hasn't become physical yet. It hasn't become hardened yet. You know what I'm saying? It hasn't become 
um, something you can stand on yet. It's air. You can't stand on air, but you can travel with air. You know what I'm saying? You can travel and you can put things together with air and things of that nature. So, yeah. But, you know, with all these planets and, and, and air, uh, fixed air to be that. To see, like, this why right now, like, this is why everything is a progression because everything plays into the next thing. Like, you know, if you're building a, 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 a mentality off of bad seeds, you're not even going to have the right, you're going to have a fucked up cup to begin with. So whatever emotions and feelings you, you, you start to put on yourself, it doesn't matter what kind of logic you have because that logic is going to be backed and supported by bad thought processes, bad mentalities, mentalities, and there's no good or bad, but bad is in terms of they're miscalculated, you know what I'm saying? A lot of misunderstandings, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, uh, and, and I feel like we're experiencing a lot of that right now where there's misunderstandings. People thought shit was one way, but when as now as we're in Pisces season, we start to see more and more of what we misunderstood, if that makes sense. It's almost like, you know, in Aquarius, everybody's thought was on 10. So we thought we knew everything. You know what I'm saying? Aquarius is that knowledge. So we thought we knew everything. But then, you know, as time goes on and the dust settles, you know what I'm saying? Pisces comes in. And now we don't feel right about certain things. Certain things ain't really sitting right with us. And we, now we're trying to explore it. But we still got all these planets in air. So we're able to still make logical sense. But depending on where we put ourselves based upon our actions and things of that nature, that's going to kind of determine like kind of those 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 blips, those psychological blips where it's like, OK, or it might be a I'll say it's an association blip because it's a it's like you don't put yourself in a situation where now it's like, you don't you, you you've been communicating fluidly, but that communication finna stop a little bit, you know, and we still got the Mercury retrograde. So you might have even been talking on something that wasn't even really real. Like you might have been referring to a previous mentality and got and, got, and had the wrong idea about something. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you are, have been playing the right seeds, it's like, you know, you, you might still find yourself in little situations where, you know, um, well, what's going to happen is as we move further into Pisces season, that that communication is going to kind of get a little uh, a little more because um, the sun, you know, what I'm saying Mercury sits is in retrograde is still going to be in Aquarius, but it's soon going to be in Pisces probably. And I, I believe it's going to catch up with the sun and whether it does or not, our, still our focus is going to still be on La La Land type things, our imagination and creativity, which that forces us see like that that Aquarian and Pisces energy can be talkative, you know what I'm saying? So the the, the chatter won't stop. But see what's gonna happen is it's gonna be harder to actually convey what it is that we're trying to say. You know, especially as the, the Mercury does make its way into Pisces, it's gonna become even more difficult to actually convey our what we're actually trying to say to the point where it's going to all start to turn into gibberish you know what i'm saying like that pisces uh aquarius energy you can speak a lot but a lot of what you speak might sometimes be gibberish and not gibberish because what you're saying isn't valid but gibberish as in people aren't able to pick out enough things that make sense and correlate whatever you're saying because you're speaking on something that isn't that's beyond physical you know what I'm saying? It's your imagination. So it hasn't even materialized yet. You know, and that's why, like I said, it all goes back to the mentality we build it now. Because if you're not building a sufficient enough mentality, a.k.a. setting yourself in a situation where you know what your goal is and, and, and you know how to, you know the logical steps it's going to take for you to, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Because it goes, it goes further than projects. So I don't want to like pigeonhole it into just something you're working on. But this is just like, who you're associated with as well, your social groups. Like, if you're not associating with the right people, you're not even going to be understood when the time comes because, you know, all Pisces yearn for an understanding that doesn't require words. And that's where that travel from Aquarius to Pisces gets lost in translation because it's like, as you move forward, there becomes less and less, even though you know everything in, in Aquarius, there becomes less and less actual words that you can use to convey what you actually feel and like when you start to not be able to grasp on anything that speak on how you feel you start to this is where pisces becomes vulnerable because you start to rely on the hearts of others to already know what you need them to know and this of course can be lostness you might be uh more of an earth or, or air sign or even a fire sign and be like how the fuck is somebody supposed to know something if they haven't conveyed it yet but that's what 
Pisces and a lot of the water energy, but mostly Pisces needs a lot of times. It needs that ability to confide in somebody with heart and soul and not even need words to be able to trust somebody to already be accounting for their heart and, and their needs and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And that, 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 you know, of course, like we can't be, like I said, like the, the illusion, la la land, that could be very, like I said, that's, that's very impractical. You know what I'm saying? I'll admit, you know, and I'm a Pisces, so I'll admit, you know, that, that's, that's practically impossible, but that's what makes Pisces so, um, complex, but not complex because it's, it's something that we do unto ourselves. And this is another thing I want to just say about Pisces energy in general, whether you have, you are a Pisces sun, moon, or, or ascendant, even if you're not, you got Pisces somewhere in your chart. And you know what I'm saying? We all can relate to this energy because this is where we're going, right? So speaking on self undoing a lot, uh, again, you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, you know, um, and this is the, the post I actually made on Instagram. I'm just going to read this out loud, man. Because um, how I worded it was very specific. And basically, I started off, let's see. I started off by saying, you know, at this point, it truly isn't your responsibility to save or change anything, mentality, or feeling that another person has set themselves in. That's their shit. Don't get swept up in the Piscean waters and confuse your shit with their shit. Only person you owe is yourself, and what you owe is the commitment to honor your space and fulfill it with that which makes you satisfied, right? So that, that, and then going into the next one, right? To move with the tide is to be both flexible and prepared to understand and at the same time allow space to not understand and be okay with that. Um, this is speaking on inner trust and things of that nature. I spoke about this already. As folks continue to show who they are, the facades built from the skin of the old world will shed and you will be presented with a new decision. Honor yourself enough not to fall for the same mistakes. Free yourself. This is the time. So I'm actually going to come back to this, you know what I'm saying? Because this is important for what's going on in general at this moment, right? Um, but what I really wanted to get to is speaking on the second fish. Um, the second fish is an illusion. You created that imaginary being based upon how you feel others would receive your energy. This is actual. Uh, act, this is actually a psychological malfunction produced by the ego. You yearn to be seen and felt in a certain way because in some way you believe that others' acknowledgement of your presence validates your existence. This is the trick that the sun has placed on us all. Our inner light dims as we start to gaze too far outward. We confuse the being in the mirror with an imposter. So this is this is the precursor to self-undoing where, like I said, it, this is a, a trick that the sun has played on everybody in which... And depending, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we live on a, we think about it. We live in a, um, a space, right? We, we live on this planet and there's this sun. So the concept of the sun gives us light, right? The light that in which now we can see everything. At least we think we can. We, I mean, with this, with the sun, think about it. If you, if it's daytime where you at, right? And the sun is out. Essentially, you feel like shit. I can see as far as my eyes can take me, right? That concept in and of itself is about it, the light we know is consciousness. Consciousness is what we put out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all these lights and things of that nature, these are outward faculties. These are things that we're we're projecting. And when we spend too much time projecting and not enough time actually closing our eyes and stop cutting off our consciousness to certain things. And like, this is where meditation comes in, where the meditation, the point is for clarity to block out everything that the sun is trying to show you. Right. And like I said, it's like, it's a situation where if we spend so much time looking out, we, we forget how to correlate our own inner imagination. This is why people who chase the mainstream and chase things and things that are, they want to be a celebrity. So they copy the blueprints of celebrities and they engulf their lives into the business of celebrities. This is why these be the people who live very meaningless lives and, and, and li live lives that's like hollow. It's almost like you start to talk to them and you realize like nothing actually be going on in their in their inner world. Like they don't be correlating their own emotions they, or their own imaginations. They just be living off the high of what they see. You know what I'm saying? And like that, that kind of shit, like these are, these be the people who be the most like empty to be the most, you know what I'm saying? And even we see in celebrities, a lot of celebrities who, you know, don't really have any substance to them and things of that nature. And it's like, you know, at the same time, you know, we stay, we stay clear here. It's like, who am I to say, 
who has substance and who doesn't. I'm just speaking on these are people who spend a lot of time correlating the, uh, uh, from imaginations that was already out here. And they actually haven't tapped into their true power of themselves. You know, these are people who, you know, we see these people every day. You know what I'm saying? And they be people that we just like, damn, like, you know, everything you do is unoriginal. Everything you do is just like for the trend. Everything you do is to be popular and seen, a.k.a. seen, the sun. You know what I'm saying? Like, the concept of the sun. You're not correlating enough moon energy to make your shit unique, to make your shit feel, have soul, and soul in general, so low. You know what I'm saying? Soul is your individual spirit in space, your individual space and things. Like, you know, all these things play out, and, like, that's why certain things in the mainstream ain't got no soul. It ain't got no individuality. It sound like the same copy, cut, paste in, of, of every other motherfucker who did that shit. Every other rapper. You sound just like every other cut, paste rapper. Because you ain't got no soul. When you got soul, you have no choice but to come up with some kind of individual way that sparks a feeling in certain people. And these people become your number one fans. And then they become the... It's almost like you become the oversoul and they become the ones who's telling all their friends, like, hey, you got to listen to this dude. You got to listen to this cat. Like, this, this, he's different. And they start to, feeding off of that vibration, we go into the five and then, but you, you become the six. You know what I'm saying from that? But, you know, we don't want to get too far from, away from um, the topic at hand. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of keep this video a little shorter. So, you know, and this takes us into, you know, what's kind of going on right now. So I spoke on, the shed of the, the skin of the old world is starting to shed. So, look, we in the last leg, right? And shout out to M. Reezy, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he made a video speaking on uh, just the cusp and uh, also um, Mars and Taurus, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe Mars is at like 22 degrees Taurus, um, if I'm not mistaken. And so, you know, it's the last it's the last stage of, of Mars being in Taurus as well, or, it's, you know, it's reaching the end. And uh, Mars has been, you know, kind of difficult uh, because it's forcing Mars to kind of slow down. But, you know, everything is leading to the next thing. So, you know, it's moving towards Gemini. So you already know when, when Mars gets into Gemini, that's a natural sextile. You know what I'm saying? It would be a Gemini house, or, uh, you know, or the Gemini planet Mercury and um, uh, the first house, Aries planet. Mars, you know what I'm saying? These, these, th those two houses actually create a sextile, which is opportunity. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities for us to um, actually start to move. Um, Gemini is a lot quicker than Mar uh, than uh, Taurus, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a certain quickness that happens, you know what I'm saying? That, that happens once Mars goes into uh, Gemini as well. But, you know, before we even get to that, you know, um, the reason I kind of brought up what he was saying is just because... Uh, we're starting to see the death of things. You know what I'm saying? We still we we in the death period now. So we already know that the the real New Year is in uh, when the first zero degrees of Aries. You know what I'm saying? So we at the twelfth house now. This is where things are dying, and this is where it's the easiest to kind of slip up because we all like the Pisces energy falls victim to wanting to like this goes with the second fish. Because the whole concept of the second fish is we start to think that the second fish is us. And that's actually what I wanted to say before I got on this point about the mirror. Because I had put up, you know, we, we, we start to confuse the person in the mirror as an imposter. Meaning we spend so much time being consciously aware of what's in the external world. We start to not forget who our, who our inner selves is. We start to forget who our inner child is. We start to neglect our inner child. We start to forget who we are on a core level for the sake of just trying to make it in the in the everyday world, right? Right. Just trying to make it because of all the bullshit that we we forced to be um that we're forced to pay attention to. A lot of people go broke on that end, paying attention to too much shit. And it's just like you lose touch of who you really are. So it's a sense of this. It's like, okay. You start to lose touch with your inner like with the with the person in the mirror. And so you forget that there is no second fish. It's just you looking at yourself. So that second fish becomes the concept of everything you think other people would feel or think about you. You start to, and then like, depending on who you are, you can start to put all kinds of energies into this, aka you can start putting a bunch of 
demonic energy, aka this is how self-sabotage happens or self-doubt, where you start to fulfill this space in the mirror with all this negative reflections of you, what people would say if they were to hate you, what people would say if they were to be judging you and talking shit about what you do, what people would say and feel if what you did made them feel bad, which it doesn't even matter in general. And what your concept of what you think other people would feel, that's just coming from your own insecurity, one. And two, <coughs> like I said before, who cares? Who gives a fuck? Three, you are the creator of that image. So imagine if you were to say, when you get that feeling of, oh, when I express this, X, Y, and Z could happen and this person could feel this way about this. Instead of looking at that as another person feeling that way, why don't you just cut that second fish out? That second fish ain't real. Just be like, look, if, if that thought comes to you, just be like this. Well, look, 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 look. It actually doesn't matter. I love myself. I honor myself. So no matter what, I'm going to do what's right for me, whether whoever's around me likes it or not. And by default, whoever's supposed to be around me, it's like I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm speaking, but it's really a matter. Of, we got to dissolve the second fish. We got to we got to throw away the second fish. That's my whole point. We got to throw away the second fish. Stop. Stop looking at the second fish as somebody in your ear. Or somebody, your projection of what other things could be or what how you're affecting other people. Man, fuck that shit. Start looking at it like, well, this is just my reflection. Everybody, because we all know it. when it comes to people we interact with, everybody is their own individual. But at the end of the day, a lot of times that we use people as reflections. We see ourselves in others. A lot of times we don't want to see ourselves in others. There's people that we... we, we the, the things we hate, the things that make us the most upset, all these things we learn and figure out later on, oh, this is actually a piece of me that I, I wasn't agreeing with. So it kind of played out in other people. Like, it's not that other people are your reflection, but you know that you are universal, collective consciousness. You play out in everybody else, and everyone plays out in you, and that's the exchange of the world. Like That's how we all move, because... Pisces especially, you know, we connected to the collective consciousness, right? So it's like that you got to understand that as a collective. Stop looking at that second fish as everything that would happen or all the antagonists that would be on your ass if you were to do a certain thing. Fuck that. No, it's more like if you start to get second fish thoughts, just be like, nah, nah, nah. Look, I know what's right in my heart and I'm going to have to experience it either way. Whether others like it or not, like dissolve the second fish. I, I still feel like this language, I can't get to what I actually want to say or how I want to actually say it. But the point is just dissolve the second fish. Throw it, throw it away. Throw it away because there's no second fish. It's just you and you. But that's where that God complex comes, where we start to feel like we have this other responsibility to cater to the, the 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 flow of the whole ocean, but we don't control the ocean. We ain't even cancer. So slow down. Slow down. That we ain't our the ocean ain't our responsibility. It's what's going on in our fin. What's going on on our fin? What's going on on all on, on our space? The whole ocean ain't our responsibility. It ain't even the responsibility of the cancer, but they got more precedent because they control the wave. So they can push it in certain ways. You know what I'm saying? But the ocean is not our responsibility. So stop thinking that you have to clean the ocean for the for the world. No, you just need to make sure your section is clean. AKA what you doing is focused on you. And what you choose to push out, you know you're going to get back. So it ain't even a matter of trying to do good all the time. It's like you just know what you put out is what you're going to get back. AKA if you piss in your own water, <laughs> you're going to taste piss. If you choose to clean your water, you know what I'm saying? And I, I know that's a that's a weird analogy because, like, you know, where else, if you're a fish, where else you going to piss? Like, you know? <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's whatever you put out is what you're going to get back. So you got to keep that in mind. It's, it's just in general. You know what I'm saying? Instead of clinging on to the idea of trying to make others feel more comfortable or trying to feel responsible or like you're a martyr or like you got to save people. Because, in, you know, you don't got to, like... That whole save your shit for Pisces, that shit gotta go. That's some old shit. We in a new shift. 
in the new shift, the new wave for Pisces, the new cool shit for a Pisces to do, or if you're not a Pisces, just if you want to deal with Pisces energy, the new cool shit to do is to be like, no, <laughs> there is no second fish. The, the cool shit is to handle your own shit, and those who show you a certain level of interest and compassion and actually care about their own life and well-being, these are the people you can drop gems with. These are the people you can share waters with. Other than that, if there's somebody who always asking for help, always in need, you don't gotta be a mean. You ain't gotta be mean. You ain't gotta be a dickhead. All you gotta do is just kind of sit back and allow them to kind of figure out the flow. If you want, you can. You can. You know, I wouldn't even advise that. Like I said, look, at this point, it's not your responsibility. So you just sit there, and if they want to swim to you, cool. Then you know what I'm saying. You can try to baby feed a little bit, and then. If they show you signs of not actually recepting what you're saying, and they're not listening, all right, do you then. Flow. Because the truth is, like I said, it's never egotistical on this side. So it's like, the truth is, it's like we all want to feel like we right, of course. We all want to feel right. We all want to feel like we have the right way, the right perspective, but there is no right and wrong. You found what works for you. So you have to allow somebody, if, if you're giving them game from your perspective and they're not receiving it, you got to respect their space and say, well, shit, you must have a better way. And, you know, sometimes people play out like they do and they really don't. But that's their journey. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to be on their own journey. It's like we at this level, I really don't feel like this is the time we need to be actually babe, like doing baby steps with people. I don't I don't have the patience for that. Even if Mars is in Taurus, even if Uranus is in Taurus, I don't have the patience for that. I don't have the patience to sit here and put you on a little concepts just for you to combat me and be satisfied with a, a perspective or a vibration that's a lot harsher. At least, like, even if you don't agree with my perspective, at least I'm giving you a higher angle. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And like these be the people you be trying to help in your life and shit like that. But then they turn on you. And this is what I mean by the, the facades of the old world. The skin of the old world is shedding. So we seeing clearer and clearer who are the ones who didn't actually catch the shift. And I look at it like this. Look, all spirits can change, but they got to want to change on their time. And if they not and everyone's time is different. Everyone's time is different. So take from that what you will. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's time is different. Now, me, I feel like I'm on a different type of time these days. I don't have certain time that I used to have. I don't have certain, you know what I'm saying, like a certain availability that I used to have. I don't have certain patience that I used to have. You know, I have a different kind of patience. I'm very patient now. I le I, I'm learning the virtue and principle of patience, but I have a different kind of patience for a different kind of thing, a different kind of subject. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you if you caught the shift and you on the wave and you tapped in, you know what I'm talking about right now, where it's just like, look, my tolerance for that dumb shit is non-existent. My tolerance for that fuck shit is non-existent. My tolerance from that, like, low vibrational, oh, woe is me, bullshit ass, I need somebody to call daddy ass bullshit. Bob is dead. I can't do it no more. Like, God damn. Get your shit together and get the fuck to work. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, and, and as we go into Pisces season, like you would think Pisces is all, you know, peaches and cream, but it's really not. Like having Pisces energy is like a battlefield because we always at war. Because we always tapped into something else and we always getting, we always picking up on extra shit. So it's important and imperative for every Pisces. Like when a Pisces is actually at a certain level, we know it's warfare. And actually we play more into the Aries energy. Really, we play more in the Aries and Aquarius, I feel like a lot of times. Where it's like, it's kind of like, we. I feel like we do this dance between the Aries where we're going to war with certain shit. And then Aquarius, when we're just trying to organize our shit. And so, but you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm rarely just in the middle as a Pisces just kind of letting everything go. I mean, I'm always that because that's the actual energy I'm in, right? That's the actual space that my son was derived at. But at the same time, it's like when you really start to get to a space, it's like you start to see why it's important to kind of tap into these other energies. And like we always say, 
We all the energies, energy, we all the, we the whole zodiac. So it is, it goes beyond just thinking you your sun sign, or you know what I'm saying. It, it goes beyond just picking one sign and being like, oh, this is me. It's like it's deeper than that shit. Like it really goes into the better you, the more aware you can be, the more deeply you can tap into your own arsenal and have certain weapons for, like we spoke in the beginning, all possibilities, all problems, all solutions. I got all solutions. Which way you want it? However you want it. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, I'm saying on some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that's the type of time we on right now. Like, that's the energy I'm picking up on right now. It's just like, this ain't the time to be playing, bro. And it's like too many people uh, that were able to kind of ease their way, way into your circle. People that was able to kind of get away with, with either not supporting or just kind of being around you but not actually contributing to what you're building. All these people getting exposed. And that's why certain things is happening in such an abrupt way where it's like, damn, it was all good just a week ago. Now this now this happening. Now this person getting exposed. Now this person doing this. All that old skin is, is shedding. And we seeing right through it. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, like I said, this is lost in the sauce time. So you want to make sure that you doing everything in your power to cleanse your space, get the fuck away from people who ain't actually on their journey, who ain't actually putting in work. And, and putting in work ain't about just posting on Instagram. It's, a, it's like putting in work is in when you speaking to them, are they actually contributing to the conversation with thoughts and concepts that are actually going somewhere or are they just kind of going in circles and talking in circles, talking about shit that they ain't do, trying to bond with you over some trauma, trying to bond with you on some negative shit. Like, I, I, I'm i friend. Like, if you're trying to bond with me on some negative experiences, we ain't friends. I don't care what kind of bullshit you in. You know what I'm saying? I'm in bullshit too. We all, we all got bullshit. Fuck is we relating trauma for? Yeah. <laughs> That fire out today, man. Like, nah, it's just, it's just like certain things today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all know just so much. It's such a high volume of bullshit in the world. And I'm like, how are y'all not yet on the way of seeing through this shit? Like, how y'all not see this to the point where I'm like, like I said before, it's like, oh, I'm really not here to save nobody. So at this point, it's like, it's not about, like I said, it's not about going around being a dickhead. It's just about saying, well, shit, I need to make sure I'm securing my shit. And I need to make sure that whatever energy I'm participating in and putting out in the world is coming from not only the most genuine place, but it's coming from a real place and that I'm not sleeping on myself like I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like before now, like, I know, I know I was sleeping on myself. I know I was, I was, I was tripping. I want to say I was scared. <laughs> I want to say I was scared. And that's like, that. that's me being honest. I was scared. I may have put on a, a tough exterior, but I was scared before. Now I'm looking, I'm like, man, we got to, we, this is the time. And I see where other people are scared. And it's like, I, I don't want, I don't like to put negative energy source people who correlate and they, who learn how to correlate their energies. Because we don't, like I said, we all on different time. We all got different things that we got to work out before we can actually be ourselves. Like, there's so many different layers that go to life and spirituality in general, where it's like, I understand the journey. I don't judge nobody for where they at. But what I do make sure that I pay attention to is, is, is how much work are you choosing to put in? And, you know, there's another concept I want to talk about, about um, living within your means energetically. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all got different, we all on different journeys, you know what I'm saying? We all on different journeys, but we share a space. So it, it starts to get a little choppy, but I'm going to make this concept quick. It's just living within your means. It's just like if you had a budget. A lot of people don't know how to budget they, they money, right? But let, So what happens is they overspend here, don't keep track of this. Now they can't pay bills or they overdue, you know what I'm saying? Might be in debt, might got a thousand credit cards and things of that nature. And uh, Dolo just dropped that video on emotional debt, but what I'm speaking on is it, this happens energetically. So, like, and he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was talking about emotions and feelings. This is, like, energetically. Sometimes we we might overspend our, our energy on certain... 
we might misdirect our energy in certain spaces and things of that nature. Spend a little too much time over here. Spend a little much too much time over here paying attention to this, paying attention to that. Before you know it, you done exhausted all your energy. So you have no energy for yourself. You have no direction for yourself. No fuel for yourself and your dreams and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, really... You got to learn how to live within your means, meaning knowing what you need to give a fuck about and knowing what you don't need to give a fuck about. And, you know, yeah, I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to go too deep into that, actually. Like, you know, like that, that's a simple concept. I'll make a separate video about that kind of shit. But, you know, for the most part, just to cap, uh, kind of close this out, like, you know, th this is the type of time we in right now. Like, we still at war. Like, we, we, we in the thick of it to the point where it's like, you know, it's like I said, there's so much bullshit going on where... You know, people's minds, it's just like, we in the thick of it. <laughs> That's all I can really say. You know what I'm saying? So, it's so imperative. Like, th these these seasons coming this time around ain't just what they used to be. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, the, this ain't your regular, this wasn't your regular Aquarius season. This ain't your regular Pisces season. Like, this, this shit is really, like, ruthless out here to the point where it's just every day it'd be some new shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... But we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't fall victim to fear on, on this channel. We don't fall victim to fear on on this side. So you already know what type of time it is. It's time to just get get up and get your shit together. Because uh, work to uh, King Dream. You know what I'm saying? Because he has said some real shit on Instagram as well. When you are, when you vibrate right, ain't nothing can stop you. So it's no sense. Like I said before, I was scared. I ain't got no fear now. Because when you vibrating on a certain level, you know what it's hitting for. You know, you know, you know where you're going. So it's not a matter of trying to scurry here and scurry there. When you vibrating the right way, you ain't gotta run. And that's where I'm at. And that's where that's the people I want around me. And that's what I, I'm advising for people to, to start to because we in the last degrees of Aquarius. So uh, no, we not in Aquarius no more. We in zero degrees Pisces. So. Officially, you got two more days to reevaluate these associations and get these people to fuck away from you so that you can continue to live in your dream or build your dream in peace. Because that's all Pisces be wanting, and that's all we want in Pisces season. Some peace, some quiet, calm waters. But you can't have calm waters if you're associating with the wrong people. You can't have calm waters if you are attacking yourself and being your own worst enemy. You can't have calm waters if your emotions and feelings ain't ain't secured in a sufficient mentality so they don't get too chaotic you can't have calm waters or if you and if your, your waters get a little a little rocky you want to make sure that you have a sufficient anchor to keep you grounded and not too drifted off into la la land or whatever happens you know what i'm saying so if your waters do end up getting a little chaotic because they will Cause things happen every day. We go through shit every day. This shit is real. We know things gonna get fucked up sometimes. As long as we got that anchor, we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? As long as we got that anchor, we'll be all right. And I made this. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> I just been playing with this. I folded it. I said like, what's that Venus? Yeah. So you know, love. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever, whatever, man. Like you know, but just real shit, like. You you gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? We go we all gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, we all gonna be all right. That's all I'm gonna say. Because, you know, we, we don't leave on negative notes. You know what I'm saying? And this this video wasn't even negative. This was just speaking on what's going on and like, you know, hopefully all my videos instill some kind of uh confidence in yourself and, and, and help you to be inspired so that you, you feel like you can get through this shit. Cause we we can, bruh. We all getting through this shit. We we in the thick of it. We getting through this shit. One step at a time. One, one, you know what I'm saying? One stroke at a time, bitch. <laughs> Real shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Be creative, man, and be flow. Like like I said in the very beginning, learn this martial arts style. You get hit with certain energies. Learn how to use that energy for your benefit. Shift that weight. Shift the weight. And that's, I don't even know if I had said that in the beginning, but shifting that weight so that it doesn't all crush you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, life is hard sometimes, but it don't got to be all the time. Like, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about, where it's like, like, every day is an uphill battle, but when you tapped in and you not allowing yourself to get swept up under the current, 
you actually manifest a life that can be easy. And you experience a lot more benefits and things going into your favor than not. And that's what the fuck I'm, I'm trying to be here for. You know, spiritual empowerment. And we all powerful in this bitch. So, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, much love, man. I, I hope everybody keep their head on tight. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, we about to go in these waters. We already in these waters. We dipping the toe in. We dipping the toe in. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't be scared to dive in. Don't be scared to get wet. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be scared to get wet. It's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Much love, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one.